we still talk about digital agencies. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we, we also want to say that that will become an outmoded way of thinking. I'm not sure it ever will be, but, 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 but why do we talk? The, the notion of a digital agency or digital agency of the year seems to connote some form of otherness. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is it that is other about digital and how then do you make the other integrated? What are, the, what's the, what are the essential challenges there? So I spent, until I went to Widen and Kennedy, I spent my entire career working in, in digital agencies. And I used to be someone that would be deliberately provocative and say that digital agencies got, got it more than traditional agencies. You know, I was always up for a, up for a good argument around that. And I, and I think if you, if you look at the work that, that was up there, it feels like work that came from an advertising agency an advertising agency that's starting to understand digital and do good digital work, but it feels very different from the work if you, like if you took one of the, the, the big successful digital agencies like an RGA or an AKQA and you put the two reels side by side, I think the work would be noticeably different. Like they, they come, it's, it's as if we're kind of, like we're both chasing this flag that's in the, in the middle here somewhere and we're, we're tethered to our past. So it's almost like if there's a bungee rope attaching Widen and Kennedy to advertising and storytelling. There'd be a bungee rope tying an AKQA or an RGA to technology and, and engineering in a way. And so we're both kind of running towards this central ground to kind of go, yeah, we can create this fusion of art and science and this coming together of storytelling and software. But I think it's the agencies that, that, that find the way to really break down the barriers internally so that those teams are working together seamlessly, as John says, kind of respectfully with trust and all of those sorts of things. Well, John said uh, um, technologists and artists have to be at the table together. What are the, um, you know, we've talked about this. I wrote this manifesto on um, interactive advertising creativity a couple of years ago where it made the case that creative technologists need to be part of the creative team, integrated into it along with copywriters and art directors. Um, what does that mean practically? Why is that such a radical thought? And what does it take to really make that happen? I think about this often, probably more than I should. I think that the, there's some realities that are just very different, right? So what it takes to make great creative advertising has a very different process from what it takes to make great software. Um, you know, that there's, there's a lot of stuff in, you know, you look at a lot of the great campaigns, they come out of gut instinct, they come out of, you know, an aha moment, they come out of, a, you know, a thing that could happen, you know, three days before, you know, it could be the, the very last minute, you could suddenly throw a production company, a great director at it, and, you know, you can have something on air in a couple of weeks. You can't do that with making software, and this is the big thing. It's like, it's almost like you can spend 80% of everything in the world works on an 80-20 rule, right? So in, in software, you spend 20% of your time conceiving, coming up with a great idea, and 80% of your time making it. I think in traditional advertising, it's almost the opposite. You spend 80% of the time strategizing, concepting, and 20% of your time actually making it. And I, and I think that's where a lot of the problems kind of come about. So if you're someone whose background is, is making software or making products and services, you know that you need to get into that actual kind of doing and constructing because you learn from that stuff as you go along because it needs to be... Uh, Jonathan Harris is one of my favorite digital artists. He, he, he came to the agency and he gave us a talk recently and he talked about the, the media pushing back on you. And I think this is something that... If you're, if you're playing around with new forms of media or new forms of technology, you don't really know how something's going to work until you've tried it out. You know, whereas I think the, the, kind of the rules for TV advertising and, and print advertising are fairly well understood. You, know, you right. get in incremental changes as you go along, but people understand the, you know, roughly the shape of the box that it's going to right. go in and the amount of time it's going to take. Whereas when you're putting something out there that you know, might be a totally new, um, it might be a new device, it might be a new way of doing something, you're only going to really see how that works once you put it in people's hands. 